So there was an earthquake this morning, right here. Um, I'm currently in New Jersey. It was terrifying. Everything started shaking. Um, I was in a state of absolute confusion. Um, I'm also at my friend's house right now. Um, and some a series of events happened in this earthquake that really reiterated to me the importance of women community, the importance of and the way in which women intrinsically build and support community. And I don't, and I think we need to, I'm gonna share the story and then we're going to talk about how this shows up in other spaces. Also, hi, for those who are new here, my name is Shayna. I'm a journalist. I talk about decentering men. I talk about um, being child-free and a bunch of other things. So if any of that sounds interesting, please like, share, and definitely subscribe. Now, Here's what happened, right? So I'm just chilling here in bed. My friend is out walking her dog. And then I'm my tripod is right next to here. So um, my tripod starts like rattling. And I go, mm, that's odd. Uh, that's odd. And then very shortly after, everything in the room starts, starts vibrating. And I go, oh, I got to get out of here, right? So I'm leaving. And then I hear my friend's phone, cause she left her phone here, start ringing like off the hook and it's her mom. And she's going back to back to back calls. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, it's a sign, right? So um, as I'm trying to leave the house, the rumbling starts to quiet. And then my friend is at the door coming in with the dog from the walk. And she's like, oh, because it's, I, I was very freaked out. And I was like, did you feel the shaking everywhere, right? So, she tells me, oh, Shani, you know, like maybe it was a plane. I was like, I know what a plane flying over a house feels like. This was not everything moved. So then she calls her mom back. And her mom then said that, like, wanted to check and make sure that everyone was okay. Her mom lives in um, out of state. So she goes, calls mom back. Mom, make sure that everything is okay. Because mom was, got a call from her, my friend's aunt, mom's sister. Um, who lives with grandma. So they called mom and everybody's now like creating this web, right? So I'm like, oh my God, I need to call my mom because my mom also lives in New Jersey. So I called my mom. My mom was in the shower. She thought that it was the upstairs neighbors making all this noise. I was like, absolutely not. It was an earthquake. Is everything okay? She's like, oh my God. So then mom is on the phone and she's like starting to get a couple things together. And she's like, oh, okay. And she briefly mentioned, you know what? Because she had an event with some of her other ladies today. So I think she's going to like check in with some of them now. And the way that this web of interconnectivity just continued to grow specifically among the women. And I think that this is a thing that we do, that we deprioritize once men enter the picture. And it's so unfortunate. Like from the people that I know, all of the all of the families that like were affected by this, it's the wives reaching out to the other wives who are reaching out to the siblings who are female, who are reaching out to their friends who are mothers, who are reaching out to, it's the women that are checking in to make sure everyone is okay. And mind you, everyone is fine. Everyone is fine. It was a 4.7 on the Richter scale. And it was in, interestingly enough, a city called Lebanon in New Jersey. And there's a whole lot of stuff that's going on over in the Middle East right now. Um, and not just like the gene side, the genes O side. I don't know what I'm allowed to say on here or not. It's not just that, but there's a whole bunch of new stuff that's been going on um, in truly the past 48 hours. But that is a conversation for a whole other video. But the the way that I saw the network of women get to work to make sure that everyone was okay, to make sure that home was secure, not the, just their home, but everyone else's home is secure. Like when people consistently, and now that I'm saying it's probably gonna be all over your guys' feet, when women enter into transformative spaces, generally, and when I say transformative spaces or eras, I'm talking like not the good stuff necessarily. Like your friends are going to be there for the good stuff, but you really know who's there when it comes to the bad stuff. Because when I say that, I'm talking cancer. I'm talking divorce. I'm talking the loss of a loved one. I'm talking that the people that gather round are the women. Are the women. And there's 
it always breaks my heart when there's a deprioritizing, when there's a decentering, when there's a push away from the women in our lives, when we enter into relationship with men, when we get a boyfriend, when we get engaged, when we whatever, right? Because that's truly your safety network. That's truly your safety network. I made a whole other video talking about the ways that marriage and partnerships medically benefit men and how marriage and that kind of partnerships medically disadvantage women. There's a whole video about that. And community and partnership, the lasting stuff, it's gonna be your it's gonna be your women friends, it's gonna be your femme friends, it's gonna those are gonna be the people that gather around. And I got to experience that in real time today because an earthquake just ran through New Jersey. And yeah, yeah, it's just weird. And then on the flip side of this, it really reiterates to me, is that a, oh no, it's not a pimple, okay. It really reiterates to me because I saw the network of women immediately go to work. It really reiterates just how lonely men are because the women reached out to the women. And if the men are not associated with a woman, then I don't, I didn't hear anything about bros reaching out to bros. I didn't hear my brothers reach out to anybody. Like, and I love my brothers, they're great. But like, I just, I, men really do need us. They really, like, it's a matter of life or death, you know? And I just, really want the people that are on the fence about settling that are on the fence about getting picked or like really craving just like getting picked by a man and I understand the want for uh, a wedding a lot of little girls dream about their wedding dress where they're gonna be who they're gonna invite their who's walking the vows and all that I understand I understand. Um, also, is that the capitalist machine in work on us since we were little? Yes, but that's, once again, story for another video. But the that want and that craving and that desire, that is completely justified. You're allowed to want whatever it is that you want, but just don't, true, settling or just wanting a general man i just i just want to be married i just want a partner just with who why because at the end of the day it's the women that are going to be your lifeblood it it just and whenever push comes to shove whenever something big happens whenever life gets real it's proven over and over and over again <sighs> yeah yeah. Now I'm going to post the other video that I said that I was going to post, um, that I said that I was going to continue today. But this was more pressing. This was more important. So I wanted to share that. Okay. Have a good day, guys.